What's up, everyone? You are tuning into another edition of Mezzanine IV. We are here at the Love Fest pre-party, and we're fortunate enough to interview some of the folks from Dirty Bird Records. I'm here with Christian Martin and DJ Worthy. So what's up, guys? How are you doing tonight? Doing very well. Yeah. Doing good, too. Good stuff. Well, um, we know that Dirty Bird is kind of a newer project. You guys launched in 2005, but um, you all kind of had individual success um, before forming the group. Do you feel as though you guys have kind of gained group notoriety, like larger fame since the launch of Dirty Bird Records? Um, definitely, I think Dirty Bird, the entity um, coming together was the best thing that we could have done um, just for the, the big picture of things because it allowed us to go much further than we'd be able to go on our own. Dope, dope. Yeah, I'll say that too. And we definitely all like together, like kind of push each other as a group collaboratively, you know, like pushing the sound and just kind of edging each other on to make our like individual sounds go crazier nice. and go to that next level. Nice. A little bit of like healthy competition, yeah. especially yeah, between, definitely. especially between brothers. I mean, do you yeah, think definitely. that you and Justin um, at a young age, did you guys foresee yourself growing up to um, both be successful DJs on the same label? Um, no way. We, we weren't even friends until <laughs> high school. So <laughs> uh, only only since then, I, I brought him to his first rave. And it, nice. from there, it was just kind of like um, we, we kept each other on, on the path. And so we, we both have been very musically involved since we were very young. So it was kind of a natural thing. But because we started so early, it didn't seem like what we were going to be doing until, I don't know, a couple of years so ago. So did you? Yeah. yeah. All right, good stuff. Um, I know you guys are very well versed um, in the music industry, um, in the DJ scene. You guys have done a lot of traveling. I believe you're from Washington, D.C., and you're from Connecticut. Yeah. And I mean, you guys you know, have checked out, between all of you, Detroit, London, New York, L.A., just to name a few. Why, why did you guys choose San Francisco to make it kind of the home base for Dirty Bird Records? Justin and I went to college together, and uh, he just told me how amazing the music scene was out here. So that that forced me to come out here and check it out. And I saw it, and I was out here within a month just because I loved it so much. And and Christian yeah. was here already. So. I was I was out here since 2000, and the music thing didn't really start brewing until about 2003. But the the music um, as a fan I was able to go out like three or four nights a week and and see different different acts in different really good clubs there's just so much so many opportunities it's endless yeah. yeah so so it was it was kind of this um, this brew uh, that brought us together and um, since since 2000 it was it was kind of growing but we didn't really foresee what would happen it just kind of formed on its own nice. future projects you guys what are you guys working on right now well I'm doing a like a slight side label off a of dirty bird called Anabatic and I've been just releasing a lot of music on there on my own I have a new EP coming out next month um, as well as I've just done a remix remixes for a lot 49 and a remix for Magic Johnson he's become a collaborative partner together we're, we're actually gonna do a little project in the future together I mean, I don't know where that's gonna land but <laughs> yeah it's really interesting because we work with uh, our distributors in Germany and then our manufacturers in France. So we we have this unique international business relationships going with all kinds of people. And then our artists are from Poland and Montreal and all over Berlin, all over the place. So we have this upcoming uh, project called uh, Cats and Dogs. That uh, right. it's these these two guys from Poland and they they're well known as three channels. They're like a techno outfit and they decided to go more in the deep house vein, so they put together this project called Cats and Dogs, and uh, that album actually drops, I think, on Monday, so. Monday? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we've been working on that, and then it's just a matter of kind of extending the reach, not just of Dirty Bird, but Mothership is the, like, the techno sub-label of mm -hmm. Dirty Bird, and so that is, that's been keeping me very busy, just growing that and kind of get, trying to get it to the, the profile that Dirty Bird enjoys. I know that Mothership is like your, your larger label and it's definitely newer. You guys donate to schools in Detroit, right? Do, doesn't yeah. it like a large amount of the proceeds that you make from that label go to children's schools in Detroit? Who's, whose idea was that? That's, that's uh, dope. It was Barkley's idea. He, he grew up in Detroit, so um, he wanted to be able to, to give back and, and make sure that keep, people keep, kids keep making or learn to make music because it's kind of a unique 
um, skill set to acquire. Mm -hmm. But with the 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 cheapening prices of, of like technology, it's like anyone with a with a laptop can make music now. Mm -hmm. um, so so that's that was his goal is to 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 kind of um, make sure that kids are able to kind of like see the horizon and see see what's possible out there with music. Awesome. That is awesome. Between Worthy, Christian, Justin, Jay Phillips, and um, Claude, you guys are just, you're, you're everywhere. So who influences you guys in, individually to kind of create your music? I, I love listening to like commercial hip hop and drum and bass and mm -hmm. dubstep and all kind of like non-house music because it's those kinds of rhythms that you can apply to the like 125 really rigid uh, beat structure of house, and that's what makes it interesting is those like those little fills and the, that that flavor. So I, I try to like always just download all the newest hip hop, all the newest drum and bass, all the newest dubstep, and keep it fresh. Basically, yeah. keep it fresh. Yeah. <laughs> and you? Also from drum and bass as well. Like I grew up. That's where I started off as a, as a drum and bass DJ. Um, but also, you know, I listen to. All like a little bit like rock and roll these days, and um, but and a lot of like house music and other producers really inspire me like the most, like especially like the rest of the guys in the crew. Like I listen to what they're doing, and it it pushes me like to to push my sound All right. the well, most. It's definitely appreciated. You know, you guys have a lot going on, different sounds. So I mean, being a fan, thank you very much. November second, um, we're gonna try to get out there and. Uh, Maybe get some footage, check yeah, out the show. Out. <laughs> yeah, we definitely will. Again, this was DJ Worthy and Christian Martin. You are watching Mezzanine IV. And stay with us because tomorrow night we're going to have the Love Fest after party with Om Records. Mm -hmm.